Hi guys, it's Lord Savine, and welcome to Jurassic Park. Now, in all seriousness, I, I did want to bring another game to the channel, get some variety going on, because while Minecraft, excellent, Donkey Kong Country, excellent, variety is also excellent, and we, we, we like that, generally. So, what I, ideally, what I wanted to do was bring you guys a Let's Play of the new Telltale Jurassic Park game. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. At least not until fall, because it's been pushed back until sometime August, I think is what I heard. So, in its stead, I've been asking around, seeing what people want to see, trying to see what you guys want to hear. And this came up as the favorite so far, although I'm thinking there's going to be some other short videos, maybe some, you know, one-shots of some of the other Jurassic Park games available, because they're really, really cool. Welcome to Jurassic anyway. Park. Let's go ahead and get started here. This is the Super Nintendo version of Jurassic Park. Uh, it is old. <laughs> it's very old. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Well, thank you, random computer-generated voice. I do feel welcome. Oh, that was stupid. Okay, so obviously you start out as Alan Grant. You can tell by the hat. Although he does look like he has two enormous tree trunks coming out of his chest. I assume those are supposed to be his arms. Holy shit, man. He's ripped. I'm pretty much... Uh, I'm pretty sure Sam Neill uh, only wished he looked like this. Nothing against Sam Neill. He's a badass. Okay. But it is, um, unfortunately, your traditional dinosaur shooting game. And, but it's really, really unique. We'll get into that here in a bit. You see, you can manipulate him in this kind of third-person isometric view, which is pretty cool. And you can pick up different guns, and they all have different effects. Like what I shot that raptor with, it's a shotgun. I prefer, on the other hand, the grenade launcher. Why? You don't have to deal with it. You don't have to worry about the dead bodies, or, oh, it's going to take 20 shots to kill you, or why are you still killing me? Yeah, you just shoot them once, and they blow up. I like that. Switch guns here. And you always have the cattle prod. That's this electrical beam thing. And see the little bar at the bottom right? Kind of goes down. So, yeah, you always have that. And then you have a secondary weapon, which you can use by pressing Y. So, you can have a total of three different types of weapons at any point. Ah. So, I'm on the roof of this building here. Ooh, this isn't looking good. Damn it. Ah, he spit on me. It disorients you a little bit, so you gotta kinda be careful and basically sit still if a little officer spits on you, or else you'll end up like walking off a cliff or something. I like that. It, uh, I think it does like opposite directions, so like if you press left, you'll go right. Things like that. Anyway, I went up there for the extra ammo. The cool, interesting part about this game is that it has two viewpoints it has that isometric viewpoint, and then it has this like Doom-esque first-person shooter thing going on. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And no, that's not my computer shitting itself. It's really that slow to render in the game. So that there is a computer. Oh no! BIOS errors! Turn on the generator before rebooting the system. All right, well, let's exit. Oh, Jesus. Where's that coming from? Oh, yeah, it's not in this room. I should know that. Okay. So those are Dilophosaurs. Uh, the other dinosaur in that room was a raptor. But same thing applies. You get too close to the raptor, he'll jump you, and then... It's generally hard to do anything. Dolophosaurs will spit on you, and I think it only hurts you when you're inside, rather than making you walk all weird. So, and I just picked up some food and ammo, and there's the generator on. Excellent. Okay. Pretty sure it's going to tell me I can't get anywhere. 
Yep, cannot boot from this console. Excellent. Cool. Alright, I'm trying to do all this from memory. It's been a long time since I played this game. Cool. So now you can see on my left and right, there's these little, like, shadowy things. I don't even know what to call them. Like silhouettes. Uh, those are my lives. So I have four lives. And then each... Uh, above those are the ammo that I have for each gun. And each icon represents two shots. But you can actually carry more than that. You can, actually, you can carry an infinite amount. It's just you don't... It's not represented on the screen. So I actually have way more than what, eight shots of of the uh, rocket launcher. As you can see, it's much better than a lot of the other guns. Yeah, we'll go down. Do, 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 do. Uh, select, yeah. Let's get out of here. I love the elevator music. Hi, you douchebag. Hey, calm down, cool. Just chill. We're cool. Oh, I don't want to do that. See, I just picked up shotgun shells, and you can actually... It replaces it on the ground, so like if you accidentally pick up something you don't like, you can just go back and walk over it. And you get the same amount that you had before. So... Chill. Dude, we're cool. As I blow them up. So the other gun on my right is the Bolas Snare Rifle. Um, if you read your game manuals, which you always should, back in 1993, this... Uh, the bullet snare rifle had the coolest picture. Basically, it's like explosive grenades on a string. And it can hit multiple dinosaurs. Night vision goggles required for this area. Cool. See, it hit two dinosaurs rather than just one. Cool. This room has rocket launcher ammo, uh, a med pack, or basically full health, and bullet snare rifle. So that's good. Hello, sir. I like how they look at you with that quizzical, like, head cocked look. Same one they, that uh, the Dilophosaur gave Nedry right before he killed him. That's pretty funny. Alright, so that's kind of the mechanic in this game. That's kind of the basics. You interact with the environment using, well, what you can. And then it limits your progress by locking certain doors, and you have to pick up basically keys to get into certain doors. And you can explore the whole island this way. So. But I did it in order to get the, the extra ammo. And once you kill dinosaurs in a, like a building or whatever, they don't come back. So you see there's nothing in the hallway. You're good. You just got to be careful if you're rolling through a really big building and you forget about a room that you haven't been in yet. And they up and kill you. Okay, so now we're back into the overworld. Grunt. Yeah, raptors will not attack unless you shoot them. Yeah, don't listen to him. So those things are kind of like save points. If you die, then you can, uh, you'll start back at the last either building you exited or that. So. That is an egg. That's one of the missions here in the game. You actually can't beat it unless you go pick up all the eggs. So you have to go find them all. So it's good that we found that one. I think there's one up here in these rocks. I like this music. Dude, this is another game that has really good music that not many people know about. For its time, I'm hoping that the recording picks up the stereo nature of the music. It's very cool. You can easily jam out to it. Okay. So those are boulders. They'll fall off on you if you get too close. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that was almost bad. Yeah, they'll instantly kill you, too. So they're like, you don't really want to trifle with them. And let's see. So bottom of the screen, quick overview left is the points. The middle is like a motion sensor thing. You can see where stuff is around you once you activate it. Below that's your health. To the right of that, your lives again, and then your ammo representation. So. 
Thanks, Tim. Now these little help screens, a lot of people complain about them because they cover your entire screen and you can't see. Well, you can avoid that by just uh, hitting L or R and it will close those. Die Raptor. I want to hear it. Boom. So yeah, sorry if it sounds like I'm talking a lot. There's just a lot to explain at first. It, this is one of those games that it just kind of throws you in it, kind of like Minecraft, and that you just kind of have to know what to do or read the manual. So that's an electric fence. You touch it, you're probably going to die. Another good thing about the rocket launcher is that I can just shoot the little mechanic here, the little gears, and it'll open. Normally I'd have to do this and like run in there, but with a rocket launcher you just shoot it once and it's, it just opens. That's a dragonfly. Hmm, looks like I'm low on ammo. Okay, so this weapon right here is the uh, the gas launcher, gas grenade launcher. It's a non-lethal weapon, but it doesn't really matter. And it sucks too. It takes like two or three hits to kill something, whereas everything I'm carrying right now only takes one. Generally, pretty broken. Ah, the kitchen. The famous kitchen. And it has a raptor. I don't remember there being a Dilophosaur. Cool. I actually need to grab a couple extra things of weapons, so I'm going to go in and out a couple of times. Well, maybe just once. See, when you enter the level, no dinosaurs will be back. See, the raptor's not there anymore. But all the stuff on the ground is. So it's an easy way to kind of get some ammo if you're running a little low. Alright. Let's get that food. Big old turkey leg. Whoa, oh, chill. Let's ride that elevator. I hate that it makes you spin around before you can do anything. Okay, let's open this up. As you can tell, I've definitely played this once or twice. <laughs> I spent a lot of my time. This was actually the second game I got for the Super Nintendo. So, and I, I got it at the same time as Super Mario World. So, I definitely had some practice. And I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan. Like, it's kind of unfair. I guess I probably should have bullet snared that. Yeah, but I totally played this. The worst part about this uh, this game is that it doesn't have a save feature, which is really awkward because it's a kind of a long game. So you just had to do it. Oh, that's right. Okay, so in order to boot the system, I have to go in there to access Nedry's uh, computer area. So this is the visitor center, by the way. But while we're here, let's go ahead and grab a couple ID cards. I love all the mouse commands. It's awesome. You can definitely tell that this, at one point in time, was designed for both Super Nintendo and the computer. I haven't found the computer version, though. Oh, whoa, chill, man. Douchebag. Okay, so here's an exit. And this actually is just the roof, um, the roof area. So I like using the cattle prod on these guys because they're not worth it. Oh shit, that's a raptor. There we go, got him. Yeah, they're, they're not worth wasting a rocket on. Whereas the other dinosaurs, you can just pull a snare. So I just swap over. There's another one of those eggs. Oh yeah, and this little center thing, I'm right over it. Yeah, you don't want to touch that. You'll die. It ends up being really bad for you. I don't think you die. I think you just get hurt really bad. Let's see. Oh, 
Okay, so there's an ID card. At least in the overworld. Right. What the hell were you doing on the roof, sir? <laughs> How did you misplace it onto the roof? Whatever. So these are the little compy, uh, you know, the little tiny dinosaurs from the movie. Ooh, that didn't work like I wanted it to. Cool. Alright. So now we have Hammond's ID card, and that'll unlock an area. I don't remember which one. So now, we'll go down to where we were. We'll go back down to the, the base floor. And we'll go get Nedry's ID card. I think after that, we'll call it an episode. Ooh. Yeah, so the Gallimimus actually don't go after you. It's just if you run into them like that, they'll hurt you. And if you get too close to them, they run through, try and kill you. Pachycephalosaurus are very territorial. Stay out of their way. Well, thanks. Thanks, babe. I love how he holds his hat when he's jumping. Look at that. He's like, not my hat. Don't let my hat fall off. Oh, hello. Jesus. Let's see if I remember how to get there. There's another shed or building. Through the jungle here. You're a liar and a douchebag. It's because of you the park went all crazy. Otherwise I could have gone and visited it. Okay, cool. Yeah, Dilophosaurus spit deadly. Where? Thanks, Tim. So is my rocket launcher. It is also deadly. Ah, that didn't work like I wanted it to. That's okay. Bam. Okay, so here's an egg. And two raptors come out. I've basically memorized most of where the bushes where raptors come out. It's really kind of unfair. <laughs> like that. It's kind of, it's not really fair for them. But I guess if you didn't know where they were coming out, it could be really weird. They just pop out of the foliage there. No? Yeah. See a triceratop Triceratops run like crazy. So, it's pretty good advice, because it's coming up. Grab those the snare and that. Here it comes. And he basically will mow you over, and if you get stuck on something, he'll kill you. So you just duck into one of those little niches there. Bam! You like that? You want some more of that? <laughs> Jesus. I love this game. Music's really cool too. Oh, sh I was not paying attention. There you go. Eat that. Now let's have some fun. After I kill this. Ah, you douchebag. Is that like super intense music right there? That means a Tyrannosaur is nearby. I hate these damn things. There you go. Okay, the, you can't kill a Tyrannosaur. The only thing you do is, like, tranquilize it by picking up this, this stuff here and then shooting it, and it just pushes it back. It doesn't even kill it. There you go. Shit, shit, shit. Excellent. Yeah. So if you get to the ammo there, you're fine. Oh, I totally didn't have the gun I thought I had. It's always good to line up your shots on them as you're coming up to them. So let's go run the Tyrannosaur again. He's getting fat. He needs some exercise. Come get me. And of course, if you get caught by him, he eats you. So 
I may do that just because it's hilarious. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah, I didn't have my cattle prod open. That's right. Run for me. Fear me. I am man with the big gun and tree trunk arms. Okay. Let's have let's have a little fun. Why not? I'm gonna lose all the ammo, but I don't care because I'll start. Run, <laughs> sucker! Because he wants you to get killed by the raptors. So here, let's get killed by the rex here. Nom 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 nom. Okay, excellent. So, oh, I didn't lose all my all my ammo. Okay, well I'm gonna cut it off there. We've been running for a little bit, but I'm going to continue, definitely continue this. I'm, I'm loving this game right now. I'm really feeling it. So if you like what you saw, give it a thumb. Uh, give me a comment too if you have any suggestions, like you want to see this or that or, you know, whatever. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then, of course, subscribe if you like what you see. Otherwise, uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.